Hello everybody, my name is Travis Brander and I am here with the band Lung. Hi. Lung, will you guys please introduce yourselves to everybody on the internet? Well, hello internet. Um, this is Daisy Kaplan. This is Kate Wakefield. <laughs> Thank you for sitting down and talking to me, guys. I've been wanting to sit with your band for a while. Thanks for sitting and talking to us. How long have you guys been a band? How long have you been playing together? About two months or yeah. something. Yeah. Maybe three. So you've been playing together for three months and you already have four songs released. Well, we kind of like got together in November and threw around the idea of doing a duo, but it was really just more for fun, you know? So we'd like just get together and jam. Um, and then I guess in like February, we really started getting more into it. But yeah, we've been playing out for about, since April, April 29th with Dog Yop. We both got consumption and couldn't play. Yeah, we both got it. We got we hibernated all winter. Consumption. Consumption. <laughs> From the Oregon Trail. Could you guys tell me about the four songs you've released so far? Yeah. Um, basically, we recorded them. When did we record them? Like pretty recently. On May 9th, 2016, with John Hoffman at the Lodge in Dayton, Kentucky. Which is the best place to record ever. It's an amazing deal, amazing space. Haunted. haunted. But yeah, we recorded like 11 tunes, and the four songs that are online are kind of like the songs that were the easiest to get together, get up to speed. Are those four songs a part of an EP, or are they a part of an album, or do they stand by themselves? They are four songs that we have mixed that are from a greater album that we are letting people hear now via the EP format. So they will eventually be part of a larger album. Does the album have a name yet, or is it still up in the air? It does, but we don't want to tell you it yet. Secret, okay. Is that okay? That is perfectly fine. Um, when, is there a release date, or can, do you know when we could listen to the whole album, or d any time frame on that? Or is that a secret too? It's a secret. Okay, I like secrets, builds hype, and uh, more people start to think about it, secrets are good. We're, we're a very secretive duo. Yeah. Secrets. What has the reception been like for the four songs you guys have released so far? Do people like it? Have they talked about it on the internet? Lots of people playing it in their cars. They absolutely hate it. That's why we're talking to you, man. They hated it. I'm just trying to, we're trying to drum up some support. Just kidding. Even people who hate me have come up to me and told me they liked it. But they could be lying. You never know. It might be. A, yeah, they might be playing a joke. So, Kate, you play electric, cello, and sing. Daisy, you are on drums. Could you guys please take a second to maybe explain how you would describe your own sound? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think like it's kind of like with my solo stuff, when you throw an electric cello or any sort of cello on music, it gives it a weird quality. Um, it's just like a little harder to pinpoint down. So if anyone out there has any descriptors for our sound, that would be appreciated. I think we're a little bit like, I don't know, slightly grungy. Uh, what do you think, Daisy? Like, I think we sound like, like weird rock music that is also good. Genres are bad, aren't they, in general? So no, they're they're helpful. I mean, like, if you're like, you hear, you know, black metal and you're like, I like black metal, then that's good because you can describe what you want to hear to the internet or to a record store. It's good. It's just hard. Because there's so many things. There's yeah. so many different things. Like, I like I like rap music. Then you know that it's rap music and you know how to ask for it in a record store or on the internet. It's just hard when it's your own band. But that said, I think we're rock music. Is it hard to be a two-piece. Do you guys wish there was a third member to Long? Will there ever be a third member to Long? Or will it just be a loop thing? Or is there ever going to be a third member? I don't think so. Because 
I mean, duos are great because you can like still have a collaborative process, but there aren't too many cooks in the kitchen. Two is a good number, I think, creatively. Doesn't get messy. Well, both of you are important players in the Cincinnati music scene. I don't think there's any debate on that. Will you guys please tell me, with from your experience, what you like about the Cincinnati music scene? If there's anything you don't like about it, tell me that too, please. How about you say the good and I'll say the bad? <laughs> <laughs> good cop, bad cop. Um, no, I love the Cincinnati music scene. It's always been like, I just feel like there's a lot of like really great artists. Um, everyone's, for the most part, at least to my face, like really supportive. Like there's just good energy. Um, I love Monday Night at the Comet. I think that's a really cool thing to get like new artists and then also to see like a lot of my favorite artists like come and play there over and over again. It's, yeah, it's just a really supportive community, so. I like the Cincinnati music scene too. That's one of the reasons why I'm here. Do you really? Yeah. Me too. Daisy, what do you like about it? It maybe say some good stuff and I was just kidding about the bad stuff. It's it's actually really good. I feel like Zoe here and the Comet do a really good job of having like quality entertainment on kind of like what most people consider off nights, which are like Sunday through Tuesday and like it's really supportive. There's like like a glut of good bands in the last like five or six years. It's actually an incredible place to be. So, yeah, I think it's good. So you said there's a lot of really good bands. Will you please tell me who are some of your favorite Cincinnati artists? Who do you listen to? Absolutely. Um, I really love, I mean, Dog Yop. They're some of my good friends, and I love their music. I also really love Brianna Kelly. I think that you should definitely check out her music if you haven't heard it Um. Yeah, she has some beautiful stuff. And then Leggy is one of my other favorites. We actually like started around the same time. We all worked at a Belgian restaurant together and it's it's been really cool to see like how they've gone on so many tours and they're just doing really well. They're Leggy awesome. opened Bunbury this year. Good. Leggy's doing a lot this year. Leggy's, they're good people. That's smart on Bunbury's part. Bunbury should have Leggy. Bunbury should have Leggy. They should. I like uh, Jennifer Simone and Flesh Mother and a lot of I'll just a lot a lot of bands. So many bands Those are my favorites. Kate is one of is one of my favorite bands as her solo act. Am I allowed to say that since we're in a band together? Yeah. Yeah, you're one of my favorites. Oh shit. <laughs> How can everybody out there listen to the four songs that you have out? Are you on Bandcamp, SoundCloud? Where's the best place to listen to that? Bandcamp is the best place to listen to it. Did I spell out the address for everybody on the internet? Yes, do it right yes. now. Lung, 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 dot, bandcamp, dot, com. Three lungs. Three lungs, one dot, bandcamp, one dot, com. Lung, thank you for talking to me. No problem, Travis. Everybody, please go to... Lung, 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 dot, bandcamp, dot com, and lung, 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 lung at facebook.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Seven lungs for Facebook. Three for Bandcamp. It's it, a cult. That's a, that's a cult numerology, by the way, for all you scorekeepers out there. If you, if you guys would like to see more interviews like these, please go to my website, www.travisbrander.com. See you guys later. Seven Travis Bradners. Seven Travis Bradners, three Travis Bradners, because Travis Bradner is in the Illuminati. Bye.